Hi guys, welcome to the last video tutorial for assignment 2. Uh, just before we get started, just need to recap a couple of things on the assignment brief uh, that you need to pay particular attention to for compendium 2. So the three primary components right here in the middle uh, that you need to go through, some of the students are getting a bit confused by some of the wording, so let's just go through it now. So one, draw up a plan section elevation of your seminal work using AutoCAD. So now that you've used AutoCAD to draw your site and all of your things that you've been working on, we're expecting you to draw up your touchstone uh, or your uh, pavilion as it stands so far um, for compendium two. So plan section and elevation of your compendium as it is to date. And obviously you're still gonna develop this further uh, but we need to see your skills uh, that you've developed in AutoCAD uh, demonstrated to show your work in AutoCAD. Number two, you need to create a 3D model plus subsequent rendered perspectives of your seminal work. So this is your uh, best pavilion perspectives that you have so far. We want you to obviously show us as many as you have been working on in class and in SketchUp, as many screenshots and as many renders as possible. But then we want to see some final versions of these as well. Um, some worked up uh, renders based on all the video tutorials that you've seen so far. And then the final component there is using one of the rendered perspectives. Uh, so one of these ones you've done here, we want you to use uh, the artist that you've been focusing on for this semester. We want you to take some of the qualities of their work and use Photoshop to create some highly evocative mixed collage images that show your pavilion under the guise of your artist. And we'll run through that in a second, um, how you can get through that. That's what the final video tutorial is about. Uh, but importantly, this paragraph down here talks about how important it is for you to really, really add lots of work and be exploring lots of things for your compendium to want to see lots of compendium fat big fat compendiums uh, make sure that you're including everything that you've been working on from studio so there's no folio per se for studio you'll be doing a video so everything that you're working on in studio needs to go into your methods compendium so all of your sketches all of your drawings all of the thinking all of your further development, your artist research, everything you're working on studio needs to also go in Compendium 2 along with these AutoCAD SketchUp and Photoshop collage uh, pieces of work. So we need to see all of it, all of it in Compendium 2 and you will also be expected to develop uh, your Compendium 1 based on feedback you got from that and uh, improvement is always necessary. So now we'll, let's get stuck into this rendered perspective using your artist as a base to create some additional uh, evocative drawings. Jump on over to Photoshop. Here's an example of taking one of Joe Darvall's uh, artworks, taking some of the color and the patination and layering this over your perspective. So this is the same perspective that we've been looking at. But now I take some color from Joe Darvill and I literally get the layer. Let's say, for example, let's take this layer. I'll select pixels, right click, select pixels, as we know how to do. If I delete everything that's in there now, get up my paintbrush tool by pressing B. I hold down Alt and it brings up the little eyedropper tool. Click on Joe Darvill's color and it will change it to orange where I'm painting there and it uses that same identical orange that's been used for Joe Darville if I wanted to use that blue there same again click down on alt grab the blue and now I'm painting it on in that layer where I wanted to paint and as you see here there's lots of layers gone into making this drawing uh, so I'd encourage you to use this as one method to have a look at your artist and the way that they bring about their work into your perspective. Um, so this is the third thing we're expecting to see. You take your 
architectural spaces, your pavilions a next step further by reintegrating them back into your artist's work or reintegrating the artist's work back into your architecture. And that's really important for us to see that. And it will be really important in generating some ideas, potentially some color palettes and material palettes for you. Now this one is specifically color because that's what this image seems to be most uh, prevalent with for Joe Darvall. Obviously, different Joe Darvall examples will conjure different images and different feelings. Um, and not all of you are with Joe Darvall, so let's have a look at uh, David Anderson. So this is a quick example of taking one of his robot paintings and then re-abstracting this architectural space under the guise of David Anderson. So I've taken this bright red that's here copied it around some places and then I've taken this blue neon glow in the background and pushed it there and popped up some light and some colour into some of these edges that are up here and obviously the shadow work and things that we've been working on in the past it creates a similar feel to what was going on in David Anderson's work and a completely different feel to the architecture that space versus that space completely different and this is why we really want to see you explore your artist again through your architecture. And we want to see lots of variations of this. So you should be doing at least 10 different versions of this. And whether that's 10 different versions of your artist's work, so 10 different works from David Anderson, I might have a look at and do one collage per work. Or I might look at two different works from David Anderson and collage it five times each and end up with five different ones. It doesn't matter, as long as you have at least 10, and that's a minimum, uh, collages of this artist's work, just to really layer it back in. And hopefully it will help bring up some new ideas, either spatially, or color palette, or material palette, or lighting, or all these sorts of things from your artist into your architecture, so that when we're moving forward with studio, we've got lots of new ideas going ahead. So that is the final tutorial. Uh, for assignment two, stay tuned, we will be resuming tutorials with InDesign, presentation, layouts, and putting together some awesome books and booklets, and they will be next. As always, ask as many questions as possible in class, and we'll try and make some video tutorials for you to help you out. Thanks, guys.